The interface changes from Dreamweaver CS3 to CS4 are pretty minor, but are designed to speed up working within the program. One of those small but powerful changes is the addition of the application toolbar. The title bar has been replaced with the application toolbar, which combines the program menu with quick access menus and a workspace switcher. If you're on the Mac, remember this is one of the differences between the interfaces, whereas on the PC, the menu is integrated into the application toolbar. On the Mac, it's not. So on the Mac, instead of seeing the menu, you start right here with our quick access icons. These things are lovely. They allow us to switch back and forth between really common tasks inside Dreamweaver, and they allow us to find them very quickly without having to go up and visit any menu structures. So, for example, to change my document view, I could just click right here and say, okay, I want to do a code and design view. And here I can choose to display the split screen view either vertically or horizontally. I love the new vertical view. It is certainly one of my new favorite views inside of Dreamweaver. We also have the ability to extend Dreamweaver. And if we click on this icon, it allows us to go out and browse Adobe's website for the Dreamweaver Exchange. And you can download extensions, which will further Dreamweaver's functionality. We also have some site management capabilities built right into the application toolbar. Notice that I can define a new site or manage my existing sites without having to browse through a menu or even use the files panel. So it's right up there. Next in line, we have our workspace switcher. And I really like this workspace switcher. This thing's great. If I grab the drop down menu here, I can browse through all of my available workspaces without having to go to the window menu like most Adobe applications. So here I could click to switch to the designer workspace and boom, the interface changes. Now there's one more thing on the application toolbar that you may have noticed, and it looks like a little search dialog box. We don't use this to search through our files. We use this to gain access to help files on Adobe's community website. For example, if I wanted to learn a little bit more about CSS, I could just type that in. And then when I hit return, it's going to browse out to the web. It's going to go to Adobe's community help and it's going to search that. Here, I'm going to go up and search the knowledge cloud on Adobe's community site. And here are lots of articles and different things that I can go and read about that particular topic. Switch back into Dreamweaver. On the PC, I want you to also note that the application toolbar is where you would minimize, maximize, or close Dreamweaver and well. Keep in mind that that is a PC-only feature. By replacing the title bar with the application toolbar, Adobe has given other panels a little bit more screen real estate and moved multiple functions into one toolbar, which is really going to speed up working within Dreamweaver.